What's up, guys? It's Edge and Retro B, aka Baggers, and Hello. we just took a long trip off 3,000 blocks into the sunset. So, anyone else on the server that wants to know uh, our coordinates? There's actually some more horses here, so press F3 now, Edge. Hmm. Yeah, there they are. Hmm. So, um, anyone hmm. wants to come get some horses? Come get some. Yep. They're, they're black ones, and they're beautifully bred stallions. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it looks, seems to be quite a lot of people on the server. Um, I think just because we've updated, updated recently, but um, one point six. Yeah. So um, yeah, but now the challenge is getting home because we crossed about about five hundred blocks of water at least. To get here. Yeah, if not more. So we're gonna have to try um, first find our way back. Wait, try try jumping over this water instead of going in it. Because if you go in it, you'll you'll lose your horse. Hold on. Uh, oh no! Hey, he's gonna go uh. inside. Yes, I did it. Oh no, I feel like I jumped over the river. Earlier. Come on, horsey. It's beautiful. All right, so we'll yeah. see you guys back at spawn. See you then. All right, what's up, guys? I'm back, and this could be a jungle temple. Now I'm not sure if this has been discovered before. Uh, definitely has. Dang it! That means I haven't even come close to. Getting out of town. Well, anyways, I'm trying to find a good place to cave. Um, but in order to do that, I have to go pretty far away. And um, it's hard to tell, like, <clears throat> how far away is far enough, you know? So uh, I'm trying to get that all worked out. And um, this is obviously a sign that I'm not far enough yet. So where'd my horse go? Where'd that lead go? I want that lead. Come on. Horse, where are you going, dude? Where'd the lead go? Here it is. Okay. Yeah, horses are fun, though. They go pretty fast. Uh, Jungle's probably the worst clown for them, though. I gotta say. Although, he's getting around quick. Where did he go? Oh, boy. Got the whole army over here, too. Dude, horse. Well, there he is. He's over there. What are you doing? Let me just fight off this army of... Oh, I bet he spawned right behind me. Yeah, this new mob system, too. It's bad news. They uh, keep spawning in every time you kill one. Okay, that horse poked his head out over here. Horsey! Here you are. Um, Horse, come with me. Come on, horse. Come on. Can you squeeze through there? Good boy. We're going to leave this guy alone. Fine, we're going to kill him. Forget that. Give you a chance to live. You just came at me. Um. Oh boy, we got more stuff on the way. Let's go, horse. Let's just get out of here. It's a bad place. I think we're at a dead end. We'll figure it out, though. Oh! Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. The nude boats are really weird, too. You have to look every time you move. They're a lot harder to control. Okay, this way. Hopefully this isn't another dead end. Come on, horsey, go. You can go pretty fast in the boat, though. Full speed with the horses. It's pretty amazing. All right, horsey. Let's go. Go get him. No! That's what I mean. You can't break. I'm used to hitting back, but you have to turn around if you want to break. Okay, let's keep going. You can go without that. It's okay. We're still going away from home, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still going. This way. Come, boy, come. Da -da -da. He's way back there. Come on. Yeah, anyways, this is what I'm trying to do. Okay, here we are. About a thousand blocks by a thousand blocks from spawn, both ways. I guess one of them is negative. And uh, we came to a little extreme hills biome over here. And I'm thinking that, ooh, I like these over here. These are farther away too. That this this is probably new chunks. I'm hoping. I don't know how far people went, but I'm hoping it is. Um, originally we all said that we were gonna stay like in spawn, but a lot of people didn't listen to that. So it's hard to tell what bits have been loaded before and what haven't been. Um, so I don't know if this is good or not. I'm gonna start mining, and if I if I don't find anything, then we'll move on. But I think right now we're gonna make a little mining camp. <clears throat> out here. Now I'm not much one for 
making dinky little things that have no real um, function. You know, I'm more function over form, I guess, than form over function. But um, let's see how how far are we going out now? Yeah, this is this has got to be good enough. One and a half thousand blocks. The good thing about this direction that I went is um, where I've gone <clears throat> is really easy to get to by horse. Um, there's one little ocean that you have to cross, but other than that, it's good. So I don't want to go into that desert, I think. Um, I think I want to stay in the extreme hills, so let's go back a little ways. Over here seems probably good. Yeah, little valley. Wait for everything to load, but this seems like a good enough place. Good a place as any. And now I don't have very many... Okay, we need to tie this guy up. He's going to wander... I don't have very many supplies, as you can see, I just kind of ca carried the basics. And um, <clears throat> we're going to try to live our lives out here for a little bit. I probably should have brought more coal, I'll probably have to mine some. Uh, with uh, I'll get some iron going here eventually, and I'll, I'll mine some with iron to get back a little coal. But um, yeah, I could have brought a fortune, didn't think of that. Maybe if, if Monkey comes out here... I don't know, he, he's probably busy right now, but if Funky ever joins me out here, he, uh, he'll bring some iron, or some, he'll bring some more picks that we can use, but for now, for now we're just doing a little excavation, and we're mostly going to be in the cave, so it's not like we're going to use too much pick work, um, we're just going to pretty much go about, try to find as many caves as possible, and, uh, try to find dungeons, and mine shafts, that sort of thing. So I don't really know how this is going to look, but it's going to look. Let's do four wide on the side. I'm just kind of making a little shack. Like, literally, that's all it's going to be. A shack. I don't even have enough supplies to do anything yet. So I'm just going to start digging a hole. This is my shack. This is my crafting bench. And let's make, make some uh, fence posts here. How about something like this? Now, I also uh, <coughs> finished doing the exterior of the Playboy Mansion for the most part. Now, Monkey and I just have to work on the interior, which I think he'll help me with. Uh, but we'll have to see. Okay. Now, I know this is very rudimentary rudimentary but this actually could be a cool design maybe it seems like some, it's something that someone would build if it was like their first time playing almost uh... let's do two more of these as we can and then uh... If we get a door let's get a door yeah live in large Alright. Meh. Meh. No. Doors do not work. Okay, um, we're running out of wood. We gotta plant some more. How about one of these? This will work better, probably. Huh? Why can't I? Did these still have to be placed on a block? No way. Didn't know they had to do that. Alright, well, whatever. Um, let's get one chest at least, just to put some stuff in. Uh, we'll, we'll do this first. First off. Boom! House. <laughs> wow, I need some cobblestone before I do much else, but... Uh, Let's just put some stuff we don't need right away. We're just going to start digging down. So only need one arrow. So we have that infinity on it. Don't need the clay. The rest we can keep. And uh, so yeah, this is where we're going to go caving. I'm going to start digging a mine shaft. Probably. Um, well, let's see. I think we're just going to go. We're just going to go function over form here. And we're just going to dig 
outside. Let's stay outside. Keep the house solid. Solid foundation. You know, we're going to dig down right here. Perfect. Okay, so, um, yep. <laughs> I'll see you guys when I find something cool, I guess. Alright, so this little opening in the mountain here looked a little suspicious. So, I went to check it out. And, zombie spawner. <clears throat> now let's check the chest. I'm really hoping for some horse armor, but... I don't know if I'll be that lucky. I'll take... I don't really need buckets. I'll eat this. Uh... Okay. Saddles, saddles good. I'll take the iron, because I might as well... <clears throat> Saddle's good. I, I would like another saddle for another horse, but, uh, yeah, dang. I was hoping for some armor. That would have been cool. Really, any armor. Gold, iron, diamond, any of it. But, uh, I'll keep looking around. Okay, well, I found some other things, but I don't think I was actually far enough out, which is kind of disappointing. So, I don't, I don't think I, I was going to be able to find... Like, I, I found a bunch of chests and stuff, and none of them had any horse armor, so... I think I'm gonna take off from this place. I've uh, loaded up with all the important stuff. So it's left. And uh, we're gonna head out and uh, go back home. Come back another day. Alright, welcome back to spawn, guys. Um, so horses are pretty cool. Um, I came back and I wanted to breed this old black guy so I could get some more, some more horses. Um, but first I had to I uh, got permission from Slim to take one of his horses. That is this guy right here. He is still probably my best horse. He has 13 hearts, and he's one of the fastest. Either him or the black guy are the two fastest. The black horse. Um, I breeded the black horse with the brown horse. Got the other brown horse, which is crap. Really slow and weaker than this guy right here. Um, and then I breeded him over with... Uh, Meninja's horse, which is actually a really nice horse. Took a look at him. Um, I, I hope he doesn't mind that I used his horse to breed. <laughs> I don't think he will, but I wanted a white horse, and he had one right there. So I was like, yeah, it's no no harm, really. So I breeded that horse, took the baby. <laughs> oh, it sounds terrible. And uh, took off. And so he's got decent amount of hearts, but he's not quite as fast as this guy. And he doesn't have as many hearts. I haven't seen... Oops. I haven't checked out how high he can jump yet. That's pretty high. But this guy can jump three blocks. Has 13 hearts. Runs fairly fast, I think. It's hard to tell because, as you can see here, it's pretty chuggy. But, like, I timed it from back there to, to up here. And he was the fastest. Um, or just as fast as the black horse that I have. So, I think this will be my uh, main horse for right now. At least, see, there's my ninja's horse. We'll go check it out for a second. I haven't I haven't taken it off its leash to see how fast it is, but it's got 14 hearts, so it's pretty pretty good. See? So yeah, I thought maybe I would get some of those genes in my horse, but I guess not. Anyways, there are a few things around spawn that I haven't shown you guys that have happened in the wild. First off, um, the Playboy Mansion is completed on the outside. I haven't done any interior of it yet. Sorry that I couldn't show any of that on this episode. Just ran out of time with the new update stuff. Um, tried implementing some clay in there, but it didn't really work out too well. I know this is probably weird to watch how chuggy it is, but whatever. Um, so T is going strong with his statue up there, and it looks pretty good to me. Um, he also built this t-shirt shop over here, which is pretty cool. Um, there's nothing inside it yet, but he said he's going to sell t-shirts, various colors, and I'll probably buy one, to be honest. Um, other than that, a place that I have, haven't really been, um, this is Chris's place, if I haven't showed it yet, but, uh, place, it's all loading really slow because I'm going so fast, a place that I've never really been is, wait a sec, no, not this way, this way, the horses do make it a lot easier to get around this place, I gotta say, they're pretty quick, they go pretty fast, it's over past Kansas's house and, uh, through the hill, and it's actually Bagger's place, but I have I've never been there. Bagger's, by the way, you guys saw him at the beginning of the video. Um, he changed his channel to Retro B Gaming, so if you want to go find him, check him out. That'd be great. Uh, link will be in the description, hopefully, if I update it. And uh, yeah, so the B still stands for Bagger's, but he said he wanted a more 
professional name except for like triple x baggers triple x whatever that was i guess he made that when he was younger or something i don't know but he just wanted a new name so if you come over here he's got the road built all the way over to this village da -da -da. and it's actually a pretty cool village Ooh, he's got horses i didn't know he had horses okay well, let's check out his horses i'm just I, I love i love the horses i like them so much i need to find some armor for my armor for mine i haven't yet been able to so let's see what he, he's got some i'm guessing the ones with gold are the bet huh that's not that i mean that's this one's this white one's pretty cool looking i wish i i want to find like the perfect horse but it's it's gonna be hard to find how do i get out of here eh, no thank you um let's see does he have any 14 harders dave the stallion i'm guessing this is a good one all right three hearts that's not bad um, I would see how fast it is, but I don't want to be accused of horse theft. Listen, these guys are just chilling over here. Yeah, they're just chilling. Okay, now move out of my way so I can get out of here. They are pr they're a pretty fun aspect to the game. So, I need to find a name tag too. That's on my list. I need a name tag and some armor so I can get these guys suited up. And, uh... Yeah, name. I want. I don't know what. I don't have a good name for this guy. You guys, you guys can vote on the name for this guy if you want. I'm open for opinions. Um. So yeah, I just kind of want to show off his place. It's actually a pretty big area, I think. I know he's trying to expand as much as he can. That might be a carpet. It is indeed. That's pretty. That's pretty cool idea, actually. I'm gonna have to implement that somewhere. But yeah, he's got a lot of cool stuff going on here. So yeah. Just want to show you that because I've never been over here on camera. And yeah, I'll be heading back. Um, and that's about it. A lot of people have out of town houses going. I know there's a couple of community projects being built in close proximity to spawn. Uh, one of them being a PvP arena or a spleef arena, one of the two. But um, other than that, I think it's pretty much done. One more place we can check is... Uh, we're not done, but just like not a ton is being changed. I'm getting pretty good at navigating with this horse, to be honest. I'm gonna go check out over by the Iron Golem farm, which is why I was able. I really like that thing. It's why I was able to use uh, iron in my building over there. It's because we have so much of it now. I haven't been there in a while. I don't even know how much we have. But oh yeah, this is a church that Ghetto's making over here. Um, this is Bagger's bedding arena, or bedding, bedding room, whatever you want to call it. I think I've shown that before, though. This is a shack. Affinity spawn shed. Please do not steal. Alright, I won't steal. I'm not the stealing type. Oh, that's kind of cool. We got a little tunnel through there. That's new. Um, but I think that's it. Ooh. Let's, uh, let's see what this... You know, having these horses makes a lot of use for all these bridges. You can do all this kind of stuff. Let's see what he's got over here. Obsidian farm made by Shady. Put in redstone on gravel. Twelve dust. Pull lever. Pull lever. Make obsidian. Yeah, I've heard about that glitch. That's pretty cool that he made that though. That's handy. Thank you, Shady. So yeah, that's about it for right now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.